Hey guys, it's AG. You're watching Math to the Max. Today we will discuss solving quadratics by factoring. Review our standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. The key thing is equals zero. It got to equal zero. So we will solve for the variable this time, unlike the time before we only factor. This time you will solve for x. Recall the difference of squares, a squared minus b squared. And last, the zero product property. When the equation has zero as the value on one side and the expression on the other side, where it has the factors, you can set each factor equal to zero, and we will end up solving. Check out the example. All right, if you can factor using those four cases and solve a one and two step equation, you're in the game. Make sure it's in standard form AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. Recall how to factor quadratics. If you forgot, go ahead and look at the video on factoring quadratics for cases. Ashley, apply the zero product property. It's time to work. Okay, we see this is the greatest common factor case. Now that we took the greatest common factor out, which is a 4a, we use the zero product property by setting both factors equal to zero and solving, in this case, a one-step equation. How do you get rid of multiply by 4? Divide by 4. How do you get rid of subtract 3? Add 3. Find the answer is 0 and 3. All right, standard form must be ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, but it's 24. So how do you get rid of 24? Spend $24, subtract 24 on both sides. Now, it is a quadratic in standard form. Now, this is the case when an a is one. Find the two numbers that multiply you negative 24 and add to give you negative five is negative eight and three, and then you do a one-step equation. All right, so it has to be in standard form. So we need to move our negative 12G and our negative 5. How you get rid of negatives? It's adding on both sides. Now we have it in standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. Now we got to use the slip and slide. So A times C, that's 20. And now this is a standard form when A is 1. Find the two numbers that multiply give you 20, add to give you 12. All right, you can't forget to do the slide. So we slide the 4, because that's the number we slip under the factors, and always simplify fractions. If we wanted to factor, we would move the denominator to the front end of the G. But we're solving, so you just perform that one-step equation, and you get your final answer. All right, the last one, number four. What form is it in? It's already in standard form, but you got to factor. That's a difference of squares. Apply the zero product property and solve for M. Thanks for watching and always striving for excellence and reaching for success.